Namibia is a land of extraordinary natural beauty and unique cultural heritage, offering experiences and phenomena that can't be found anywhere else in the world. From the world's oldest desert, the Namib, to the haunting skeleton coast and rare wildlife species thriving in its rugged landscapes, Namibia is home to an array of wonders found only within its borders. Its rich mix of indigenous cultures, including the Himba and San people, along with distinctive geological formations like the Fish River Canyon and massive sand dunes of Sosusvle, make Namibia a truly one-of-a-kind destination. Whether it's the endemic wildlife or the ancient rock art at Twyfelfontein, Namibia offers a rare glimpse into a world shaped by millennia of natural forces and human history. One, Dragon's Breath... Dragon's Breath Cave in Namibia is home to one of the world's largest underground lakes, making it a remarkable natural wonder. Located near the small town of Aus in the southern part of Namibia, the cave is known for its impressive geological features and unique formations. Dragon's Breath Cave was discovered in 1986 by a Namibian geologist, and it quickly gained attention for its vast underground lake. The cave is named for the dense mist that sometimes emanates from its entrance, resembling Dragon's Breath. The underground lake within Dragon's Breath Cave is estimated to cover around 27,000 square feet, making it one of the largest subterranean lakes globally. The lake is also notably deep, though exact measurements of its depth are challenging due to its remote and unexplored nature. The cave and its lake are formed in a karst system, where the dissolution of soluble rocks like limestone creates caverns and underground lakes. The constant drip of mineral-rich water has led to impressive stalactite and stalagmite formations within the cave. The cave's ecosystem is unique, with specific species of bats and microorganisms adapted to the dark, humid environment. The lake itself supports a small but resilient aquatic life adapted to the subterranean conditions. Due to its remote location and the challenging terrain, accessing Dragon's Breath Cave can be difficult. However, those who make the journey are rewarded with stunning views of the cave's geological formations and the vastness of the underground lake. 2. There are very few people here. Namibia Namibia is one of the least densely populated countries in the world, with vast stretches of untouched wilderness and only a small population spread across its large land area. Covering around 318,000 square miles, Namibia has a population of just over 2.5 million people, resulting in a population density of roughly three people per square kilometer. This low density contributes to Namibia's unique character, making it a land of open spaces and unspoiled natural beauty. Much of Namibia is covered by arid and semi-arid landscapes, including the Namib Desert, one of the world's oldest deserts, and the Kalahari Desert. These regions experience extreme temperatures, minimal rainfall, and limited natural resources, making large-scale human settlement difficult. Namibia's population is concentrated in certain regions, with the majority of people living in the northern parts of the country, where more fertile land and water sources exist. Major towns and cities, such as the capital Windhoek, Swakopmund, and Walvis Bay, house much of the urban population. Despite this, the overall population remains sparsely spread across rural and urban areas alike. The sparse population means that infrastructure development is slow and spread out. Many rural areas lack access to essential services, such as health care, education, and reliable transportation. While Namibia is rich in natural resources, including diamonds and uranium, its small population and isolated location make it harder to build a diverse economy. Many communities still rely on subsistence farming, 
and the country faces challenges in reducing poverty and inequality. 3. Wife Swapping The Wife Swapping The wife swapping tradition has existed for centuries amongst the Himba people, an ancient tribe that lives in northern Namibia, southwest Africa, and is seen as an act of kindness. It is customary for husbands to offer up their wives to visitors in the Himba tribe. The wife swapping tradition is known as Okujapisa Omukazendu, which simply means offering a wife to a guest, and has existed for centuries within the semi-nomadic tribe in northern Namibia, southwest Africa. As part of their culture, a husband can allow his wife to sleep with a male visitor, and it is deemed an act of kindness. The tradition, which is regarded as completely different from the Western culture, is said to show a warm welcome to strangers and is considered to be a sign of friendship. The Himba people see it as a healthy outlet and believe it eliminates the kind of sexual jealousy that can affect more conventional marriages. It continues, Among the Himba tribe, wife-swapping is a tradition that has existed for centuries, even before civilization. According to this age-old tradition, a man can allow his wife to sleep with any man who wants to spend the night in his home. While the visitor is spending a nice time with the wife, the husband is expected to spend the night in another room. The Himba tribe is estimated to be made up of 50,000 people, and one small group, known as the Ova Himba, follows a very traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle that hasn't changed in tens of thousands of years, the Daily Star reports. Men in the tribe commonly have two men in the tribe commonly have two wives, and genetic testing of one sample group shows that more than 70% of Himba tribesmen bring up at least one child that has been fathered by another man. The Skeleton Coast in Namibia is one of the most treacherous and hauntingly beautiful places on Earth, earning its name due to the countless shipwrecks and animal remains scattered along its shores. Stretching for about 500 kilometers along the Atlantic coast, from southern Angola to northern Namibia, this region is famous for its harsh environment, rugged landscapes, and eerie atmosphere. The name Skeleton Coast originates from the numerous shipwrecks and bleached whale and seal bones that line the shore. Early European sailors, along with whalers and traders, frequently encountered dense fog, violent winds, and treacherous currents that caused ships to run aground. With little hope of survival, Shipwrecked sailors who made it ashore often found themselves stranded in the desolate, inhospitable desert, with no fresh water or means of escape. Many perished, leaving behind only their skeletons and the decaying remains of their vessels. The coast is littered with the rusting hulls of old ships, some dating back centuries, which have been consumed by the shifting sands. Over 1,000 ships have been claimed by the Skeleton Coast's deadly combination of fog, currents, and reefs. Famous wrecks include the Edward Bolin and Zela, now half-buried in the desert. The climate of the Skeleton Coast is one of extreme conditions. The cold Benguela Current brings frigid water from the Antarctic, which contrasts sharply with the heat of the Namib Desert, resulting in dense fogs that make navigation hazardous. The coastal desert is one of the driest in the world, with annual rainfall of just a few millimeters in some places. Its barren landscape, combined with the dangerous coastline, creates an environment where survival is extremely difficult. 5. Cheetah Country Namibia is home to the largest pop. Namibia is home to the largest population of wild cheetahs in the world, and the country's vast, open landscapes provide an ideal habitat for these magnificent animals. With around 2,500 to 3,000 cheetahs living in Namibia, it is considered the global stronghold for the species. Cheetahs are primarily found in the central and northern parts of Namibia, 
particularly in areas where large tracts of farmland provide plenty of open space for them to hunt. Namibia's expansive savannas, grasslands, and arid environments are well suited to the cheetah's need for wide, open spaces to chase down prey at high speeds. Namibia's diverse wildlife and prey species, including antelope like springbok and oryx, support the cheetah population. The country's open plains allow cheetahs to use their incredible speed, up to 70 miles per hour, to chase down their prey. They are daytime hunters, which helps avoid competition with other predators like lions and leopards. Despite Namibia being a cheetah stronghold, the species still faces threats. Habitat loss, human wildlife conflict, and illegal wildlife trade all pose significant risks to their survival. The CCF and other conservation efforts work tirelessly to address these challenges, promoting sustainable practices that benefit both the local communities and the cheetah population. Namibia is a land of extraordinary natural beauty. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you.